Good morning. I said good morning. Before I begin, let's just take a look around at each other and bask in the glory of the possible. Give yourselves a big round of applause for being here today. Come on, y'all can do better than that. I want to hear you through those masks. We're going to celebrate a little bit today. What a moment to behold as the proud president of one of the most important institutions in the country and a fellow colleague, a brother, a friend, class of 2021, class of 2020, welcome to another new beginning. As we find ourselves here, graduates, parents, alumni, friends together on the tail end of one of the most vexing times in world history, I am reminded of Ecclesiastics 9, verse 11. The race is not to the swift, or the battle to the strong, nor does food come to the wise, or wealth to the brilliant, or favor to the learned. Time and chance happen to them all. Time and chance happen to them all. Graduates, you were chosen for this time. I'm sure you would not have purposely chose to complete your degree through a global pandemic, a defining period of unrelenting racial and civil unrest, and political division that has squared itself at the heart of our democracy. But time and chance happen to them all. And because it happened to you, and many of your loved ones, and all of our communities around the world, you've been made better, more clear, and with such great certainty of purpose that your only real choice is to thank your creator and move boldly into your future. And here's the good news. You, each of you, are why 130 years ago, in that schoolhouse right over there, Delaware State University was born. We didn't simply need more educated black and brown folks. We didn't simply want another shot at equality. Our ancestors were calling, demanding that their sacrifice not be in vain. They needed you to find your place of usefulness and honor in the world, one that demanded that you develop the intellect and the strength and the unrelenting fortitude that knows how to stand up for others in front of the classroom and in the courtroom, at the corporate board table and at the local community meeting, in your home and in your church, at the lab and sometimes in the midst of the lion's den. When you started this journey, it was not simply because you wanted to get your graduate degree. You wanted to change something in your life and in the lives of others. And right now, here's another chance. Yours is the task of honorable achievement and service in science, in the arts, in business, in technology, in every field of human endeavor. People who look like us come from where we come from and know that triumph and failure must all be seen through the lens of justice and equity and freedom. Last year this time, we were all watching, unable to take our eyes away from the horror as George Floyd died under a rogue officer's knee in Minneapolis while he cried out for his mother. And while a relentless prosecutor and a jury won back at least some of the pride of that grieving family, I think we all know that there are too many examples that still remain, which for us means the work is not finished. On January 6th this year, we saw an insurrection built on a lie while the families of then 400,000 lives 
we're still trying to deal with the fact that they would never enjoy the company of a brother, a sister, a mom, a dad, a grandmother, a grandfather, a friend. And at this moment, right today, we still know personally someone who has lost their job or closed their business and can't feed their families. Today is not just about your degree. It's about your purpose. It's your time. Use your great knowledge and instinct and intellect to do something profoundly more compelling than that which is directly in front of you. In about an hour, I'm going to say to all of you something like this. By the authority vested in me by the state of Delaware and the Board of Trustees of Delaware State University, I confer upon you a degree in your respective fields with all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. When I say those words, the next question you should ask yourself is this. What will I do with my time and chance? Graduates, congratulations. Now let's rise up together. God bless you.